Hi! Thank you for watching my video about my little learning project in the space of IoT. Let's have a look what we will see in the next couple of minutes. First, I will show you the robot Berry Picker, which was published in the German computer magazine CT as do-it-yourself robot. Second, I will show you how I transformed the robot into a connected device using the Thingworks platform. Third, I use the idea of a digital twin and provide an augmented reality environment. You will see the berry picker on the left side and in the top right corner the berry picker website launched on an iPad. The berry picker itself has four servo motors, two controlled with the axis of the left joystick and the other two controlled with the axis of the right joystick. The four servo motors can control the turn in the foot, the underarm, the forearm and the tongs. The Raspberry Pi on the right side of the screen is really the heart of the berry picker. It takes the joystick positions from the website, processes it in a Python script and sends it to the PWM driver via the I2C protocol to finally control the servo motors. When connecting the berry picker to the thing works, new opportunities arise. An online mashup makes it possible to remote load follow the robot. You can see the turn of the foot by a number in degrees. The tongs are displayed with an on and off value to indicate if they are open or closed. And finally, the needles for underarm and forearm indicate in which direction the arm is pointing as shown towards the end of the demo. Similar to the control center, the state of the robot can be seen as a digital twin using Thingworks Studio AR capabilities. After scanning the thing mark with an appropriate app, the digital twin appears next to the robot, as you can see. All the servo positions are displayed in an integer number here, except the tongs, which are still indicate in an on and off style if they are open or closed. To summarize what we've seen here, let's look at an overall architecture diagram. First, we saw the berry picker itself and how it can be controlled by a user via a joystick website. With the berry picker control panel, live tracking of the robot was enabled within the network. Lastly, the digital twin made it possible to enjoy the berry picker and see its movement even on a remote place. Unfortunately, the movement can only be seen in numbers and not in a turning cat model. Here is clearly room for improvement. Overall, I have to say that I was really surprised how easy Thingworks allows us to connect devices in a secure manner. Without a single line of code, data transfer over the network was established. If you still don't have enough, feel free to comment on architecture functionality or, and you will see it in a minute, my interpretation of a digital engineering journey. Thank you for watching.